Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a blue tansy whipped body butter. Over the past couple of months, I've been making a lot of blue creations. I did a blue tansy face oil and I also did uh, the icy blue pain relief gel using blue yarrow. So this time I'm going to be using the blue tansy and the blue yarrow to make this blue tansy body butter. Now they're going to give me a really beautiful natural blue tint. It's really hard to color body butters with natural colorants, but I think I was able to pull this off. Now I did want a deeper, darker, vibrant blue, but I would have had to use a lot of blue tansy, which has a very, very uh, strong aroma. As you guys know, last time when we made this blue tansy oil, the darker color, we had to use a lot of blue tansy to get that, and the smell is very assertive. Um, not only that, we got this color because uh, the vitamin E oil had like this orange tint to it, okay? So um, that's another thing that kind of affected uh, the end result of this oil. So we're just not going to get that with the body butter, okay? But let's go ahead and jump into this video so you guys can see exactly what I did to get this beautiful body butter. So we're starting off with our oils. I'm going to be using a clear coconut oil. This is fractionated coconut oil and it's one of the clearest oils you can get out there. So uh, any other color that is added to it, it's just going to be so vibrant and show up so beautifully okay um, you can use other oils like grapeseed oil marula oil kukui nut oil there's so many other clear oils out there that you can also use if you do not want to use coconut oil let's remember you guys this is not virgin coconut oil fractionated coconut oil has been modified so that it stays in the liquid form and it also absorbs so much faster into the skin it also is modified so it will not clog your pores so um, this coconut oil is much better than the virgin coconut oil in that sense and I know a lot of you guys had questions about that so I hope it clears up your concerns <laughs> okay so that is the only oil we're going to be using for this body butter we're going to keep it very simple but we are going to be using a blend of different butters I believed I used a blend of the Takuma butter and the mango butter I chose these butters because they're more on that white to ivory side you don't want to use something like cocoa butter or other darker butters because um, when you add that color you're going to get a different color almost more maybe something more of a greenish color so um, yeah the color of the butter will matter in this creation you guys so just make sure you try to pick butters that are um, more on the white to ivory side this is so you can get the blue color but if you prefer the green then go for it okay so let's go ahead to the next step we're going to be melting down our butters very simple you can use a double boiler to do this or you can pop it in a microwave whichever suits you the best okay i usually prefer to melt mine down on low heat to kind of preserve the quality of the butter as much as i can okay once my butters are melted, I allow them to cool for just a second and then I go ahead and add in my coconut oil. Now, you could uh, melt the butters down with the oil. That's perfectly fine as well, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just mix this in well and then I'm going to cover it up and place it in the freezer or the refrigerator until it slightly solidifies and then we're going to come back. All right, so now that our butter has slightly solidified, we're gonna go ahead and start to whip it up. I know it doesn't seem like much now, you guys, but trust me, with body butters, the more air you whip into it, the more you whip it up, the larger the amount will seem and just the fluffier and more beautiful it will become. So, you know, just don't sleep on the butter. Just just, just put the time into it because sometimes it takes a lot of time to just really whip up the butter um, to get that really fluffy, fluffy uh, consistency that you're looking for. All right, so moving on to the next step, we're going to be using the blue tansy essential oil and blue yarrow essential oil to as our colorants, as our natural colorants for this body butter. Now, initially, I used one to two drops of each, um, but the color was still just very, very faint, so I ended up using four in all. The reason why I didn't want to use that much is because both of these essential oils have very assertive aroma, <laughs> like very, very assertive. Um, the Blue Tansy has like a minty smell, which is actually really great. And I love the smell of the yarrow. Um, but like I said, the more you add, just the, the, the stronger it is and it can get overwhelming. So you only want to use a little bit, you guys, trust me. Like when I made the oil in the last video, I literally used one drop and that was enough to get that beautiful aroma. You do not need a lot of I think that will be the main obstacle when using these essential oils as colorants. If you want a deeper, darker color, you're going to have to kind of 
be willing to deal with that very assertive aroma and I don't think anybody wants to do that so in the end like I said I just used the four drops of each and that was more than enough I still love this color baby blue is like one of my favorite colors so I, I love how it came out actually um it just really doesn't show up well unless you put it up to something that's white put something white next to it and then you can see that faint tint, and it's just absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so um yeah I, I think it's still worth the try to use the blue tansy or the blue yarrow as a colorant in the body butter but like I said it's just a little harder just because the butters the plant butters are usually white to ivory and some of them are pale yellow to even a darker deeper brown to yellow you know so yeah you guys it's just really hard to color our body butter creations uh you can probably try to use mica uh, you probably have to use a lot of it to get a deeper color and then uh, of course your artificial colors colorants uh, w may work uh, to a certain extent but like I said when you're mixing a, a vibrant color with white or ivory butters it doesn't matter it's still going to be more pastel than rather than like a bold color so I hope that makes sense you guys but guys there is no right or wrong way if you want to add more blue tansy to get that bold color and deal with the aroma go for it if you want to uh, do it this way and use less blue tansy and deal with the pastel color go for it only thing I suggest is fill your jar fill your jar and enjoy it test your product that's the only way you'll know how you feel about it whether you like it or not or if you need to tweak it or uh, change it or add to it or leave it the same you will only know if you fill up your jar and enjoy it just enjoy it okay I love to learn you guys I love to create this is what I love to do whether that creation fails or succeeds I love filling my jar I love that final product okay so yeah I, I, I just wanted to share that with you guys so you guys can know that um, there are fails and there are successes but they're all good because you're learning and that is the that's the best thing that's the thing that matters we're learning that brings me back to the sponsor of this video thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video Skillshare is a platform made for learners made for people who are creators like us who want to learn and create when you join this community you're joining creators just like you and me they are actually experts in their field who actually work in their field so they know exactly what they're talking about and they know how to easily explain the material even when it comes to something as simple as organizing, you want to organize your house or things like that in your personal life. Or if you want to take a, a class about SD Shop so that you can learn how to enhance your business, you can do that as well. The topics are unlimited and the classes are laid out in a way where it's easy to navigate, easy to understand, and you can retake the whole class or sections of the class as many times as you like. It doesn't matter. You can learn at your own pace. So I finished my class with Parker Guard and I highly recommend it, especially for those of you who are trying to start an SD shop or just want to enhance it to make it more marketable. The class was simple and easy to understand and I took it at my own pace. I've been using Skillshare now for three months and yeah, I'm learning so much information at my own pace. I really, really love it and I highly recommend it. So, so whether you're trying to learn a new skill for your personal life or to enhance your business, Skillshare has a class for you. So go ahead and try it out now. The first thousand of my subscribers to click on the link will get the first month completely free so yeah that's it you guys i really really hope you enjoyed this video i really did i think the body butter came out great um i do still want to play around with the blue tansy and the blue yarrow a little bit more but that will be later on i think i've been doing a lot of blue creations lately um so yeah if you guys have any questions make sure you leave it down in the comment section below i try to answer as many questions as i can and also make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up with all the videos that i'll be coming out with i have a lot more coming for you guys make sure you go thank Skillshare for me. I really want to thank them for sponsoring this video so I can bring you guys this awesome content. And remember you guys, you need to hit the notification bell because it's the only, only, only way you can keep up with all the videos I'm coming out with. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!